It's me. Hello. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I think you're there, Job. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam. May peace be upon you, upon you. Be peace. Bismillah, assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are, you are my family. Smile, you might ask. Why? Because it will make you feel better. So fam, it is my wife, my zawjati, my begum, my halal habibi. Bo. Or bo. 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 My wife, you're my wife. Uh, that's so cheesy. You didn't even write that for me. I did subconsciously. Mm -hmm. So, fam, she has finally revealed herself as much as she wants to, and she is here. Before that, though, tell them what they should do. They should click the like button. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> Follow my um, follow oh, no. me on my social <laughs> network. On the social so, okay. media. Yeah, she's getting the hang of it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, swiftly moving on. As you can see, the title of this video, it's how we met. So we are a, uh, are we a, a multi-racial, interracial husband and wife? Like, what is the kind of terminology to somebody who marries someone um, from a different origin? Mixed. And uh, I don't know what it is. If it's you know. Mixed. Leave it, pick a mix. If you know, leave it in the comments because I don't know. So I'm just going to say interracial. But this video is how we met. And the amazing mercy, kindness, help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our king, of how it happened. It's a, an amazing story. Can I quickly give the backstory though? Go on then. So fam, it was 2013, right? I was You say so dramatically. Yeah, but I was at my wits <laughs> like end. Like reading a story. I was at my wits end. I was, I was like, listen. After I've started practicing, it's so difficult, subhanAllah, to, you know, live your life in a halal way. And this is kind of reality, right? That it happens. This just happens. So, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, to the nearest meaning, that you, do you think when I guide you, I'm not going to test you? And I was being tested heavily, right? So I was looking for marriage and, you know, speaking to people here, there. And I always you to keep it really cool, though. My kind of time limit was two days on the phone, yeah? And I'd speak for a little bit or whoever the mum would introduce some, you know, my mum would introduce and all that kind of stuff. And it'd be two day limit. If I, if it wasn't working, I would be very open about it and say, because I don't want to waste anyone's time. We should fit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You don't want to treat a human being in a different way. You do not know who is beloved to Allah. So anyway, sorry. No, that was a bit of a, you know. Anyway, so it was November 2013. And I was done. I was literally like, this is it. I'm finding a bride from out of the country. I'm going back to the village. For in Pakistan, I'm gonna go there. Yeah, I'll do the speaking in the you know language and things. You know what I'm saying? Typical. Yeah, typical thing to do for a, a, a South Asian man in England. Anyway, so I was, I'm going, and I went to my friend's house, and he just came back from a da'a course, and he got, and I was he saw I was down. I was down. I was, down. I was sitting there. I was going. I said, "Boy, are you okay?" I went, "I'm alright, bro, but life's difficult, bro. You know how hard it is for to find marriage." He went, "I know." How are you making your du'a? I went, what? What do you mean, how am I making, like, imagine if someone said to you, how are you making your du'a, what would you say to them? I just do du'a and salah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I said that. He goes, be specific in your du'a. He goes, I'm just, that? my friend. Who? Hey. I'm not going to mention his name. Oh. Um, uh, you know, uh, I won't mention his name. I don't want to embarrass him. He might not want to be mentioned. But anyway, he said to me, um, be specific. I went, how? He said, Allah is the king of the universe, bro. Allah can do anything. So ask Allah exactly what you want, what type of wife, what, when you want to marry her, when, and I went, really? I went, oh cool. I went home that night, and it was November 2013, and I went into sujood, and I said, oh Allah, please give me a wife by February 2014, and let me meet her before this year ends, November 2013, bear that in mind. And I said, I said everything in it. Oh Allah, let this woman one dua I made, and this, this is, this is, this is, this is cool, man. This is, this is the one, yeah. I said, let my wife love me like my mom loves me. I don't think a wife can love you like your mom loves you. No. You know, but it was, a, it was, it, you can get near enough there, right? She, she's not there, but she'll get there inshallah one day. And <laughs> a wife's love is different to a mother's love. Yeah, 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 yeah it definitely is. Um, so. Then, 
What happened? November, I made this dry in November. Do you want to tell them when was the first time that it was a friend, right? A friend, and then you contacted me first. I did not contact you. You no. did? No. You did? No. You emailed me first. No, I didn't. This is the big dispute we have with no. each other all the time. No. How can you forget that? You were invited to look at my profile. But, but I did not say salam to you first. Yeah, you I know. The, to me. the friend sent it to me and I looked at it and I thought, okay. And I replied, and I, okay, fine, fine. No, but yeah. your friend showed you my picture yeah. and, you, and showed my profile and you said, yeah, yeah. fine, send him the profile. Yeah, but I did not speak to you wow. until you spoke to me. Wow. What's the pride about? Well, you, you were the one that asked the question. You, look, look at this. Look at this <laughs> finesse. Look at this guy, mashallah, right? There's nothing to be shy about. <laughs> oh, what are you joking? Anyway, so it was, the date was? December 26th. Allahu Akbar. 2013. How amazing, How amazing yeah. is that? How amazing is that? I didn't know she was my wife at the time, obviously. But 26th, I remember I was sitting at my brother's house. And I got that email. And then I replied back. And then... Uh, no, you sent me the email. I know I did. Yeah. I just said that. Wow. You said you Are you still on that? Back, yeah. Are you still on that? Yeah. Anyway, don't don't let's not have a domestic <laughs> on camera. Yeah? Because the brother who's editing Reply it, you keep. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. I messaged you, and I can't remember what I said. Do you remember? Yeah, you kind of wrote all this poetry, like <laughs> like a really long salam. And then well, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And then afterwards, I figured out it was one of you, part of one of your nasheeds. What? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. It was like a really long introduction to yourself, like a really long salam. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, this is a really long. No, 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 no. I remember this. No, no, no. This is yeah. the best thing going to happen in five, four, yeah. three, two, one. Yeah. Are you sure you're talking about the right guy? Yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. Allah. Because yeah, he stood out, so I was like, okay. I can't remember that. You're gonna to have to show me that message again. I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah. Um, but I message. You reply back. Um, and then it was weird, right? Like we spoke on the phone for the first time on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And I was at an event. Yeah. Uh, in East London. Yeah. And uh, I remember I was with Vishal. He was, he's always with me at events. And <laughs> Vishal's just there. He's at the third wheel. Uh, <laughs> to everybody's relationship. <laughs> Oh, Vishal. <laughs> oh, please. If you're a Hindu sister watching this by any chance, and you're not married, Vishal is free for marriage. So please <laughs> do contact us, DM us. <laughs> Info in the description. Anyway, quick plug for Vishal's marriage. <laughs> uh, so, and then we spoke, and it was really fast after that, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, I can't even remember it that well. It, was, it went so quickly. It was mad fast, huh? I remember, um, I remember the first thing that came to my mind, I'm not going to lie, was that okay? She's Bengali. My wife's sorry, sorry. She's Bengali, by the way. And I'm Pakistani, origin, born in Essex, South End. She's born in Luton. South End. <laughs> South End. I'm born in South End. And she's born. What is a Luton accent? EDL! <laughs> <laughs> just joking, just joking. Just joking, I'm just joking. I love Luton. I actually love Luton, Alhamdulillah. Beautiful community. So, um, I remember that I was worried about that. Um, so, I remember we spoke for the first time on the phone, and uh, I was scared. I was scared that is it going to be difficult like I'm a Muslim man this is how I'm living my life I don't look I'm a Muslim first and then I'm a British Pakistani yeah that's how I look at my life yeah and I didn't want that kind of difficulty you know what I'm trying to say yeah I was nervous too because it was the first time I was speaking to a non-Bengali as well mm -hmm. plus I didn't know anything about you yeah so there's that you know nervousness on that part as well yeah but um I just thought, you know, it's not like we're getting married. Let me just find out. Yeah, I remember the... F and then what happened was that, obviously, then we arranged to meet. Yeah. I came to Luton yeah. with my friend Zainal and Osama, who lives in Luton. And we met your brother-in-law, your brother, yeah. in Khan's restaurant yeah. in Luton. Yeah. It was mad, man. It that was, was mad. That because was it was awkward. Yeah, it was very awkward. So uh, my wife was at the end... At that time, she was, like, she was at the end of the table, right? It was that like one of those long tables. Yeah. And, you know, your brother-in-law, mashallah, he was just, just held that conversation going. Like, he kept it going, you know, and he was just talking and talking. He, he spoke, mashallah, you know, a lot, you know, you know, in a good way. He's a, he's a good we brother. We didn't really talk to each other much that day. No, we didn't talk to each other <laughs> at all. We didn't talk to each other at all. I was just sitting quietly on my 7-Up. <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk to each other at all. 
So I remember it was for me. I was really, really shy because yeah. I was thinking, "What's going to happen?" I remember when you walked in. You didn't look nervous. You looked quite confident. Really? Yeah. I don't remember. Did I have a leather jacket on? No, you had a navy blue jacket on. Really? I remember. Yeah. It must be my suit. Jacket. And your hair looked longer than your picture. Oh well. yeah, my picture was short. And you didn't have a moustache either. Tell them what Abba said when he saw my picture. He said, "You're Shundar." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, give my Abba uh, Jannah. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, he's, a, he's a beautiful man, alhamdulillah. So, what was that kind of thing? I don't want to talk about it more, by the way, because she will start crying. You know, alhamdulillah, she obviously like, you know, that kind of thing. So I quickly, swiftly went on. Could you remind people like, oh, this guy, insensitive, oh my Isa. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So I remember your brother-in-law was chatting to me, giving me all the information about you. And <laughs> literally, he was yeah. rolling off all the information yeah. about you. Your brother was there, quiet, nice. I remember he was just a humble guy. Mashallah, your brother-in-law was humble as well, but your brother was quite quiet. And he was, we didn't even talk. No, we didn't. Like, we didn't talk. How awkward was that? Yeah. And I remember, um, then it came to the end, didn't it? And yeah. I just, just kind of. Yeah. I thought that was it really. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm not joking to you. I remember yeah. I went back into my car and I said to Zainu, I said, oh no, I'm just going to I'll talk to somebody. I just, I'm going to talk to somebody else. It wasn't the fact of, because I, I literally, honestly, wallahi. It didn't really serve its purpose for us, did it? No, it didn't. Because uh, what happened was that I didn't even look at her. Like I, one ga- I literally, I gave one gaze. All right, I gave a second one, undercover. Yeah, okay, I knew, <laughs> alright, may Allah forgive me, but I, I looked and then I, because uh, you, you, when your brother was talking, I was like, I'm sure if I look, he ain't gonna even notice, so I went, because she was right, really right I in front of me. I was kind of right in front of me, but far away. Yeah, yeah, so I went, so I, I did the first gaze when I walked in, and then the, and then the second, and then the second, and then the second gaze was, quick time, you know, <laughs> and then, I was fine with that, alhamdulillah. If you had looked like that, then I would have just yeah. thought you are creepy. Yeah, but alhamdulillah, you didn't see that, see, because you were like this on your straw, like, anyway. <laughs> I literally was yeah. on my straw. <laughs> So, alhamdulillah, I thought, okay, fine, like, look-wise, I'm happy, but I'm not talking to her. Yeah. So, I don't know, I don't even know what, like, I've heard on the phone. We only knew it as much as we knew by, like, On the phone, and or, phone or, yeah, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. So, then, this was like a week after we spoke on the phone, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah? So, then what happened was that I went in the car, and I went, I'm done. Um, I, forget it, I can't be asked. I think the Bengali thing is going to be actually quite difficult. I actually genuinely thought that. And in my heart at that time, I thought, why didn't her brother-in-law let me speak? To you, does does yeah, that make sense? Like, yeah. not, he's a cool guy, right? I'm just trying to. I was in my own mind, yeah. Because it's quite honest. We're being honest here, and I was like, why? And why? I think we obviously weren't gonna ask to speak to each other. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, I'm gonna say, oh uh, yeah, okay, excuse and I wasn't me, gonna say brother. It. Can I like speak to the woman who I want yeah. to potentially marry? Inshallah, bit yeah. awkward. Uh, you know, so I was eating like chicken. I wish I had taken somebody with me, actually. A other sister. than my brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might have been a good idea. Yeah. In hindsight. Yeah, but I didn't know you're gonna bring two friends with you. You, I was gonna come on my own, was I? And you were late. Oh, I forgot. I, okay, Do you remember I, you were late? I'm late everywhere, by the way. May Allah help that me with that. That was the first strike. I mean, I'm, I'm terrible at that. Anyway, you know, the mad thing is that I had told my mum, by the way, I forgot to tell you that I was going to come and see you. Yeah, I told my mum I was going to come and see you. And I remember my mum said, okay, where's the girl from? And I said, Bangladesh. You and we were driving. Too. We were driving. We were driving. <laughs> and my mum went, I went, she's practicing, mum. And my mum went, alhamdulillah. Literally, mum went, alhamdulillah. Let's try to meet the family. Um, so then I remember I went in the car. Anyway, fast forward quickly. I was vexed. I was I was actually vexed. I was vexed driving down the M1, going, "Laura, <laughs> we're gonna get married. These times running out." Yeah, or literally that. You know. So I was like, "You okay. probably had to book your ticket to Pakistan." Yeah, maybe. I was like, "I'm going, going, I'm going Lahore." Yeah, <laughs> did that part. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then what happened was that um, when I got home, we spoke to each other yeah, on the phone, yeah. and I and we I said to you, "Look, I didn't even speak to you. Yeah. Like, what are we gonna do now? What yeah. are we gonna do?" And I remember then, um, you said to me, remember what you said to me? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> no, but we can't say this to people. To people, yeah. No, what you do, no, about what you said to me, who I was. Oh, yeah, I said, because um, on the way back, my brother-in-law said, are you, does he not look like the Nasheed artist that was at our cousin's wedding? And I was like, I don't think so. I mean, I knew who look, he, you look. You look familiar to me. I said that to you at the beginning, didn't I? That you I look know. familiar to me. But then I said, I don't know. Like he didn't say anything. So then when when I spoke to you, I was like, Are you a Nasheed artist? And you were like, Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. To be quite correct, you said, Are you the Nasheed artist or Marisa? Yeah. I said I am. I hadn't Happy actually to heard oblige. of your name though before that. 
your your brother-in-law and your brother did. Yeah. Funny story. Six months before. Yeah, about six months before. I performed at a first cousin's wedding. And it was one of the worst wedding performances I've ever performed at. Everyone was just talking, doing the typical thing that happens at Bengali weddings, eating ban. Like the first time I went to a Bengali wedding, they were like handing out ban, bro. You have to do that. That was actually so cool. Like Part it was on a tray, and I was like, someone came to me and went ban. I went no, okay, thank you. Give me brah. Like they say <laughs> brah. <laughs> so, uh, but it was it was it was very nice people, but they were all talking, bro. I remember only two kids, Imad now her brother's son. And our other Isan. Um, Isan and Imad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know her sister's son and her brother's. I think you remember son. them from that wedding. Yeah, because they were right in front of me, looking at me like this, going, <laughs> "What a weirdo!" But it was cool. So that was like, I was like, "Yeah, I was very happy she didn't know about me, though." By the way, I was very happy that you found out after, because I think when we met and we were talking, I think we kind of like we kind of like getting that vibe of, you know, what this could be my wife. Yeah. I was thinking, alhamdulillah. So then, what happened was we then set another meeting. This time. With families yeah <laughs> families yeah so what I did was I went listen let's do this let my brother and my mother my father was in Pakistan come to your house yeah and you spoke to your father yeah this is obviously after the Shundar comment <laughs> let's not forget that and uh, then we came to your house yeah and it was like a week after that I after think so. the, the, I think so after Khan it was a week yeah, after that yeah we went there me and my brother yeah. it was cool this was super cool yeah we got to speak we got to speak to each other yeah in it the, wasn't in much, the dining again. room, high yeah. five. It wasn't again much though. But, but it was funny because your sisters, everyone was there. Yeah, everyone was looking. Yeah. And I was like, yes, so yeah. You just had to fight the bullet. And at that time, I was actually um, help working at a school. Yeah. So I, w- I actually said I was a teacher. No, you said you were going to become a teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I was also teaching? doing the sheet. But, but I remember, you were I remember one thing that your dad said. Your dad goes, the sheet. I was like, alhamdulillah, yeah, doing the sheets. And he was like, you know, you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I went, yeah, alhamdulillah, I try to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now through my art field, you know, subhanAllah. So I remember that was a really good meeting, man. Yeah. And I remember when I when I left the house, yeah. I was like, yes, brother, mother, let's get a crack a lacking. <laughs> and then the following week, my family went around to yours. They came here. And then... And then I just got. What was that? What was, what? I just got a message saying we're having gone a car. Like, no, did you call me? Uh, I yeah, can't remember. Yeah, yeah. But it was really good, though, wasn't it? Yeah. I remember your father wanted reassurance that I bought a Bengali imam. No. Uh, we'll yeah. Do yeah. No. Yeah. No. Abbas said he wanted a Bengali imam, so then we had to get um, Imam Abdul Hanan from Reading. He had to vow. He I thought that was that. your idea. No. No, it was like an added initiative. I think he wanted somebody. He, that he wanted he to speak to somebody to. in Bengali yeah, and say, yeah. "How is this boy?" Yeah, yeah. And I, I remember Zainal yeah. went to Reading, went to um, yeah. Wayland Street Masjid, which is the local masjid there in Reading. They got many masjids there, but that's one of them. And he was there, Imam of the Hanan, and he spoke to him on the phone. I remember he was like, uh, You know, I don't know. I don't have a small brain. I'm sure um, they said that. Yeah, I don't think they talked about hutki or mas. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was cool though after the call um, did Imam Abdul Hanan he did on come house. here as well when your dad came yeah yeah he came to the house that as well that was point wasn't it no but he spoke on the phone yeah and he came to the house yeah so Imam Abdul Hanan came to the house as well subhanAllah and then he did on a car as well yeah well obviously on, that's the week later yeah so this is what happened fam isn't it we spoke for the first time on the phone on the 26th we spoke on the phone for the first time on the 31st. Yeah. We met each other the following said, week. Sorry? The same thing. No, we spoke on email yeah. on the 26th yeah. for the first time. Yeah. 31st, we spoke on the phone with yeah. each other. Following week, we went to meet each other, didn't speak to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The following week, um, I went to a house and we yeah. spoke to each other. Following week, her father came. The rishta was done. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And then the following week... No, there's one thing that your family did say though. They said, okay, let's do a cine fun. Explain the Sini fun. All the Bengalis know what a Sini fun is. But please, to the, all the other Muslim brothers and sisters watching, what is a Sini fun? It's not really an engagement, but it's like kind of yes, a, it is. a... Not really. It's kind of like a meeting where everyone gets dressed up and eats food. <laughs> and they talk about, you know, the nikah contract yeah. and all of that and how it's going to be done and when the date of the wedding and the Willima and all of that. It could just be done at home. And it's kind of made official that these two people are going so to get we, married. So did we have the city fund in my house then? Yeah, we basically. We just didn't know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we did. But we didn't spend, nobody spent no money though, did we? <laughs> no. So yeah, so it was it was done and that's what they wanted to do, engagement. Yeah. Because I remember your younger sister, 
wasn't married yet, right? Yeah. And I remember, yeah, your younger sister. Both your younger sisters weren't married. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, she she had an engagement. Yeah. Your younger sister. So I am I am I personally, by the way, don't get me on. Oh brother, I asked my sheikh and he said you can. No, me, I don't agree with engagements. I just believe that um, if you like the woman and you know there's a connection there and you've spoken to it and you found out the fundamentals about each other, put your faith in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. By the way, I know things go wrong. You know, people have done that and. Their marriages don't last, yeah. but life is a test, you yeah. know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does everything for a reason. Yeah. I'm not saying it, this is your own responsibility. I'm just saying for me, I didn't want to do an engagement. So when they said engagement, I said, you, I said it to the brother, your brother-in-law and your brothers, um, your brother, sorry. I said, I can't do that. They went, well, yeah, but your dad's not in the country. And I said, my, my Allah is my Allah. My father is my father. So, Nika or... I won't be able to do that, I'm sorry. I think they really, I think your dad liked that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Anything? Well, my dad didn't really like long engagements either. We've never had that either. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I'm not obviously yeah. putting that on. on yeah. I'm no, just... no, I'm just saying like, for a father to have his daughter married swiftly By the way, is a for good s- thing as well. For some people, engagement's fine, right? Like, there are some sheikhs who, who would say it's fine. Yeah, like, you I, can have an engagement and then still get married two weeks later. Yeah, like... Which the, is what's happened Like, like listen, if, and if you're meeting each other and you're sincerely yeah, meeting each yeah, other with people yeah, there, yeah. then obviously, look, man, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. But all I'm saying is what engagement can do if you meet each other on your own? Because really, an engagement is... You're making it official, but there's no really, like, 100% guarantee stamp of approval yeah, actually but, they're going to but get married. No, 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 but it's not even about the marriage. It's just saying this is our intention. It's not about the marriage, it's about the danger... Of if you guys went out together, yeah. at, at the end they man and woman are, are are not we're not perfect. We're never going to be perfect. So a mistake might happen. Yeah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. I mean, well we're mm-hmm. married now, yeah. but alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a long, happy yeah. marriage until the end. Say mm-hmm. Ameen, despite me. Ameen. Anyway, so then the twenty sixth of January yeah. was our nikah. One month after we spoke. Yeah, in your guys' wedding hall. So you guys saved a lot of money in Luton. Your coat cost a lot of money. Mecca cola, <laughs> Mecca cola, Mecca cola. So that was a that was a that was really a good experience, man. I remember it was I was so nervous, I was so nervous, man. Before leading up to that, five days before the nikah. Before the nikah. Yeah. We really only had five days. <laughs> I literally went out and got my nikah, but the next day after you told me, you find yeah, okay, nikah. God, on next Sunday, and it was like Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how I was like, ma- oh my God! Do you sometimes think, I've got nothing to wear. Do you sometimes think how mad it is that we actually got married like within a month, yeah. Alhamdulillah? Well, technically, it was kind of like we were getting married in a week, between us knowing we're actually oh, getting yeah, yeah, married yeah, 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 yeah. and getting married. But kind of speaking to each other for the first time. Yeah. Twenty sixth, first time December, yeah. and then marrying on the twenty sixth of January. But in that period, we were unsure until a week before we got married. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Like, we didn't know what was going to happen. That was mad, the... man. Like, now I'm thinking about it, it's actually making me feel really happy. Yeah. Now, alhamdulillah, it's like giving me that feeling that I felt. Wow. It's giving me that feeling I felt you before I got married. Yeah. <laughs> you have butterflies every day when you see me. Okay, I'll bring a butterfly for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Take days care that, more. no, no, no. The day, the day, more. yeah, the days that I don't have it, I'll just, I'll be like this. You'll be like, butterflies? I'll be like, here you go. A butterfly in my hand. Here you go. <laughs> a toy butterfly. So, um, yeah, alhamdulillah. So that's how we met. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And to be honest with you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very kind. What I, what I made the ah for, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave. And I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. She also, you didn't say this. You didn't say this. You didn't give me a chance. Wow. <laughs> But in it, talk then. Yeah, I did make a specific da'a as well. I don't really want to say all of it. Okay. But one of it was, I want to marry somebody who fears Allah and loves Allah. Alhamdulillah. Isn't so that... I had been looking for a while And as that's well. my saying, right? Yeah. I fear Allah yeah, the most yeah. and I love Allah I the most. I specifically made that da'a. But I didn't know that. Yeah. Whoa. That is mad. And honestly, it was like, I was at the end of my tether. I didn't want to look to get married anymore. So we were both at the end of our tethers. Yeah. So we so we met each other at the end of our tethers. It was. Is it a bird of a one. tether? <laughs> <laughs> the people who know will know. Really old. <laughs> I'm not that old, by the way. Yeah. Clarify that. Yeah. Anyway, so um, that was mad. That yeah. was it. That yeah. how we met. Yeah. Allah is the most kind. Do you remember us in your du'a, my brothers and sisters? And what we want to say, the advice that we want to give to the brothers and sisters who are not married, is that I'll just say something like. Allah is always with you. 
Do not go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. Please be patient. Allah will give you the right person. Wallahi, I am a living example. She is a living example. Many brothers and sisters around the world are living examples of when you do it the right way, it's the best way, subhanAllah. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so um, you're allowed to marry, look for the person that you want to marry. You don't mm -hmm. have to get married rushed or, yeah. you know, for the sake of getting married. We, we married because we wanted to marry each other, not because we had to or... And we wanted to get married. Yeah. We wanted a companion yeah. in our life. Yeah. You know? It is difficult these days though. Isn't it's it? very difficult. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for everybody. Yeah. We may be, should we tell them what we're gonna be doing? Yeah, the marriage thing we're yeah. gonna do. So we're probably Halal Habibi is gonna start like a marriage kind of thing to help brothers and sisters inshallah. Because I get a lot of messages, yeah. you know, and she gets a lot of messages yeah. as well. So um we're gonna start that potentially. It's called Mr. Um, and Mrs. Mrs. Issa's Mrs. Halal uh, Love Service. Yeah. Or Matron. No. Is it that sounds matrimony? wrong. Where's it called? Oh, okay. Yeah. Halal matrimony or something. <laughs> love service. People will oh love that. People will come to it. That, that's that'd be, so G -A -Y. That'd be really, that'd be, Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put that in. <laughs> Why did you say G A Y? I'll just bleep it. That's so dead. You should bleep it. You should bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> that's so just That's so funny. But yeah. Mr. and Mrs. East, Mr. and Mrs. Issa's Halal Love Matrimonial. Yeah. That's what we've called it. Uh, so Matrimony. We, no, it's matrimonial. Same thing, dude. That doesn't really yeah. matter. When we officially say it, we'll officially yeah. kind of release it, inshallah. And we just can't wait, you know, uh, to help brothers and sisters. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, we, we will be charging. But let's just put out there, <laughs> it wasn't easy getting married, for like individually for both of us. It's not just that, oh, we met each other and then that's it, it happened, you know. It was so easy for no, them. It was they just found each other and just got married. No, know? it was difficult. It was difficult and you're yeah. unsure as well. Yeah. Getting married to somebody within that such a short span, you are literally putting your faith in yeah, Allah yeah. Taala, isn't it? Yeah, so the brothers and sisters that have got struggle out there, we know we've been there. You know, and it was mad because um, I think I can say this, can't I? Before, one day before our nikah, we had a little argument. Oh, yes. I yeah. remember. And when I came to your Mendy, yeah. yeah, you were upset with me. Yes, I was. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done, like, don't even understand why. But anyway, but it's a struggle. Like, just, but, but the advice... But we were married by then. Yeah, no, 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 we were married. We had Annika done. Oh, that, yeah, so the men... Because our oh, sorry, 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 Thank you. Alhamdulillah. 22nd was a Valima. 20th was a Barat. Spud me on that. No. <laughs> okay, so fam, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the reason I am getting my wife and she wants to get involved as well before people think, you got her involved. You, she wanted to get involved was that we want to show people halal love as well, subhanAllah. You know, um, as Muslims, there's a way to get married and there's a way to be in this dunya. If we are Muslims, then we follow the code of conduct of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we follow that them rules and regulations and haram relationships are not going to get you anywhere. Yeah? Halal love is the only love for a Muslim. Non-Muslims, everything's halal from that's up to them, right? But you know but for Muslims we do it in a certain way. If we say we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we want to do more of these videos where we can talk to you guys and something we want to do is we want you guys to send us questions in inshallah and we will answer them inshallah okay so leave your questions down below and if we get enough questions inshallah we will start doing a series called Mr. and Mrs. Isa such a narcissist. Did you just make that up? Yeah, I just made up. Such a narcissist. Isa <laughs> everywhere. But yeah, we'll do, we'll title it something, you know, Q&A. Not Q&A. What, what, what would we call it? Mr. and Mrs. Baker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so leave your questions below. Like, if you want advice, we're not marriage advisors. We're not marriage counsellors. No, we're your brother and sister in Islam. Who will be able to shed light on certain issues that we've gone through what we've gone through in our life, what we've experienced, what we've seen, what we've heard, what we've learned from, right? Yeah. Nice fun. Yeah? Yeah. We're not the perfect couple, neither are we. No one's gonna be a perfect couple. Yeah. You know. We're fine. not this YouTube kind of like, you know, perfect Muslim couple. We just wanna be we wanna be different. We wanna be different in our way, inshallah. And may Allah accept 
may it benefit our brothers and sisters out there, mm-hmm. married or non-married, Single, yeah. you know, subhanAllah. So, fam, don't forget to say subhanAllah. No, fam, like all, no fam, follow me on all my platforms, okay, so right here. And um, don't forget to say subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu oh, Akbar. Assalamu alaikum, peace and love my family, whoever you are, wherever you are. You are my family. Smile, you might ask. Why? Because it will make you feel better. Kinna sona. No, I've done that already. Which one do I do? Which one do I do now? What's the love song, Jibra? Like do the Titanic. A classic song. love song. Do the Titanic. Like a, like one. a Bollywood one. You, no, no, English one. Do the Titanic. Oh, one. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, what you said one. And I, <laughs> and I will <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was a long video, wasn't it?